And we are live. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Animation Commendation, Episode 8 of my Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Animation Edition game. For uh, Today, we have on our show one another person from Rotoscopers, a Roto writer by the name of Kaisa Forden. Hello. How are you today? Good. How are you, everybody? I'm really excited. Nice, nice. You think you can make it to the million? I don't know. Now that I know that no one has yet, I'm very nervous about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you can. So for those who don't know who you are, can you introduce yourself? Hi, everybody. I'm a writer and editor for Rotoscopers. Um, basically, animation is my life. If you could see my entire room, you'd see it has like hidden Mickeys everywhere. And like I'm to that extent. I'm crazy. So I'm very excited to be here. Nice. A hidden Mickey bedroom. I like that. <laughs> you, you, have, you have a favorite animated film. Sorry, what? Do you have a favorite animated film? Oh, um, I would have to go with Thief and the Cobbler by Richard Williams. The original one, though, not the Mute Max. Well, wow, that's a, I don't think I've heard that answer before. That's, that's good. Thief yeah. and the Cobbler. I've only seen the Miramax version. I haven't seen the Recobbled cut yet. Yeah, the Recobbled is very good, and it gives you a good idea of what could have been. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully I'll check it out sometime. <laughs> yeah. So for those of you... For those of you who are new to the game, this is a 12-question multiple-choice game. As long as Kaisa keeps getting questions right, she goes higher up the ladder. When she gets one wrong, that's the end of the game, and she leaves with the number of points from her last safe haven. She has three lifelines to help her, though. She has a 50-50, gets rid of two wrong answers. A phone or friend, she can ask someone for help, call someone for help, or and ask the, ask the expert. This season, our expert is Robert Lydon, the YouTuber of the Robert. He played the game last season, and he won. So we brought him back this season as the expert. We asked him all these questions already, and Kaisa can go with him if uh, he so, if she wants to see what he said. Okay, Kaisa, one last question. Are you ready to play Millionaire? I'm ready. <laughs> nice, all right. I'm gonna share my screen here. Can you see the screen? <laughs> can you see the Millionaire screen? Yes, I can. Okay. So just to remind you, this is your lateral points. The yellow ones are the benchmarks. Once you get to those, you can't lose them no matter what. Okay. And for everyone, this is Robert Lydon, our YouTuber expert, other Robert. Check out his website. Just check out his YouTube channel. He's a, He reviews movies, trailer reviews. He does TV shows. He's a big Once Upon a Time guy. If you're into Once Upon a Time, he's your guy for that. All right, Kaisa, shall we start? Are you there? Hello? Yep. You're cutting okay. out a bit still. So. Oh, really? How, how about now? Yeah. I'm moving you, so hopefully that works. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's start. 500 right. points. In the 1941 animated Disney film Dumbo, what kind of animal is the character Dumbo? T Rex. A bear, elephant, fox. Going to go with C, elephant. And nothing is final until you say final answer. Is that your final answer? Final answer, elephant. You sound very sure of that. Yes. Let's see. Are you right? Your answer is correct. Good job. <laughs> a very interesting movie if he was a T-Rex. Yeah, yeah, it would be. Flying T Rex, that, that would be something. <laughs> There's Mr. Dumbo right there. Okay, you're doing fine. You're go the next one is 1,000 points. Okay, I have to remind you if you get that wrong, that's the end of the game. I don't think it will happen, but I just have to remind you, okay? Yeah. 1,000 points, let's go. Which of the following Pixar films tells the story of a rat who has a passion for cooking? The Good Dinosaur, Cars. Ratatouille. Brave. Uh, final answer, Ratatouille. Are you a fan of Ratatouille? Yes, I am. I love it. Nice. So I'm pretty sure you know that your answer is correct. Good job. Yay. You have a thousand points, Kai said. No matter what happens today, you cannot lose that. Awesome. How are you feeling? Feeling good. This is good so far. Okay, ten, <laughs> question <laughs> ten questions away from the million. So, 
Let's see. I'm sure you can get far. 2,000 points. Mask of the Phantasm and The Killing Joke are subtitles of animated films featuring which superhero? Batman. Superman. Spider-Man. Iron Man. Final answer, A, Batman. Are you a Batman fan? Um, I am to some extent, but I'm not big on the comics or on the animated films. So that's actually exciting that I knew the answer to that one. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> All right. Well, your answer is correct. Good job. Hey. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen The Killing Joke yet, but I, I've seen I've seen some of the animated films, but not all. Right. Yeah, this, bit, this picture is from The Killing Joke, I think. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. You're doing fine. Nine more, nine questions away from the million. And no lifelines yet, so you're doing pretty good. Okay. 5,000 points. <laughs> Which of the following Ice Age films features voice roles from the singers Kiki Palmer, Drake, and Nicki Minaj? Ice Age Continental Drift. Ice Age The Meltdown. Ice Age Dawn of the Dinosaurs. Ice Age. Drake and Nicki Minaj. Um, mm. You have life. Oh, I can't remember which one Nicki Minaj was in. <laughs> That's really <laughs> bad. <laughs> okay. Um, melt. Don't forget, so you have life. Final answer to Continental. Uh, ooh. Well, you already said final I don't answers, know, I so. wanna, Yeah, um, and I want to try to save those for bigger ones if I get to them. <laughs> oh, well. How sure are you of this? Not very sure. Oh, oh boy. Is this the end of the game for you, or do you actually get this one right? I don't Kaisa, know. your answer is... Correct. Yes, awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was Ice Age 4. That was the one that has Nicki Minaj, Drake. Yeah, and... I knew it was one of the later ones because isn't because Kiki Palmer's the kid, Peaches. Yeah. So I knew it had to be one of the later ones. That's yeah. I... <laughs> I just just can never get over that Nicki Minaj and Drake are in this film. <laughs> I didn't so even weird. really know that. I just knew they had to be somewhere like <laughs> register that that was them. Yeah, it was. Um... I don't know, they really got all the voice, celebrity voice actors they, they needed for that film. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, you're doing good. You saved your lifelines and you got 5,000 points. Let's go for 10,000. In which, in which Mexican holiday does the 2014 real FX film The Book of Life take place? Dia del Niño. Dia de Muertos. Cinco de Mayo. Dia de los Reyes Magos. I'm pretty sure I mispronounced everything, so I'm sorry. That's all right. I'm going to go final answer B, Dia de los Muertos. Have you seen the Book of Life? I have not. I have it on my shelf, and I still have not watched it. <laughs> very bad. Nice. Well, at least you own it. That's half the, half the journey. <laughs> well, your answer is... Correct. Good job. Yay! <laughs> yeah, it's the Day of the Dead, and awesome. it's it's very um, it's not a film I, that's it's not like one of my favorite films, but it's definitely a visually appealing film. Like I'd watch it just for the visuals. <laughs> yeah. It's very colorful and everything. Okay, Kaisa, you're two away from the next benchmark. Mm. So. Once you get to 32,000, you cannot lose that no matter what. So All right. don't forget you have lifelines. Don't be afraid to use them. 20,000. In which of the following animated films directed by Don Bluth does the actor Dom DeLuise not voice one of the characters? Okay. All Dogs Go to Heaven. Rocket Doodle. The Secret of Nim. A Troll in Central Park. Um, he's definitely in those. Can I do my 50-50? If you'd like. Are you leaning towards anything? No. Okay, well. I think I can do that that fast. 
Nice. Well, let's get this up to you. I'll to get two of them away. Rocket Doodle is secret of Nimbia. Okay, I'm going to go with Rocket Doodle. Final answer. Are you sure about that? No, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a Don Booth fan in general? I am. I love his films. Nice. Yeah, I'm not that big a fan of his, but I've seen most of them. Okay, no. you weren't too sure about this one. You used a 50-50, and you went with B, Rocket Doodle. Was Dom DeLuise not in Rocket Doodle? Kaisa, your answer is... Correct. Awesome. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Good job. Yeah, that was one of them he was not in. Rocket Doodle, there it okay. is. Okay, you're doing really good. The next one's a 32,000. If you get that right, you have that for sure. If you get it wrong, that's mm -hmm. the end of the game. You go down to 1,000. You All can right. always walk away at any point if you want. And you have two last lines, don't forget, okay? All right. Oh, I just to remind you, um, for the other two lifelines, I don't know if I explained it, but you could choose how you want to split it up. You could do one Ask the Expert or one Phone a Friend if you want, or you could do two Phone a Friends, or you could do two Ask the Expert. It's up to you. Okay, good to know. So keep that in mind. 32,000. Which of the following Looney Tunes characters was the voice actor Mel Blanc, not the original voice of? Elmer Fudd. Marvin the Martian. Yosemite Sam, Speedy um, Gonzalez. No, not the original voice. Um, oh gosh. Uh, can I phone the expert? You want to ask the expert? You said you want to ask the expert? Yes. Okay. Well, let's go to Robert here. We asked him this question already. Let's see how he responded. He said, Hey, Elmer Fudd, I'm 100% sure. There you go. Final answer, Elmer Fudd. So you trust Robert? I trust Robert. <laughs> You've been wrong before, you know, a couple times in the show. <laughs> but, oh well. Is he right this time? If you get this wrong, that's the end of the game. Kaisa? Your All right. answer is correct. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> congrats. Thank you, Robert. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, congrats. You have 32,000 points no matter what. You cannot lose that. Awesome. Uh, here in this picture, we have Mel Blanc here at the left with this carrot like Bugs Bunny. And this guy at the right is Arthur Q. Bryan. He was the voice of Elmer Fudd up, up until his death. Mm. Then, uh, then Mel Blanc took over from him after that for a while. OK, usually when people get to this point, they usually sigh, like sigh of relief, because this is like a good place to be, 32,000. <laughs> that is nice, but at the same time, the questions just get harder, which so I'm not quite relieved yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to look at it. But don't forget, you still have one more lifeline to use. You could phone yeah. a friend or ask the expert again. It's up to your choice. Right. Okay. Are you ready to go for the last five? Are you ready to continue? I'm ready. All right. Let's go. 64,000. Which of the following Blue Sky Studios films received an Academy Award nomination for Best Original Song? Rio 2, Epic, Dr. Seuss's Horton Hears a Who, Rio. Um, hmm. we got to pay better attention to the Oscars, apparently. Uh, <laughs> oh, gosh, it could go either way, couldn't it? Yeah, that's it good. <laughs> I'm going to go final answer. But don't forget, you have a lifeline if you want to use it. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, final answer, Rio. Oh, final answer, Rio. How sure are you of that? I'm 85%. <laughs> oh, that's not that. 
I guess you were debating whether it was Rio or Rio 2, huh? Pretty much, because I couldn't remember a major song in Epic of Who had songs already written from the musical. Oh, okay. So. I see, I see. Well. Yeah. Was your logic correct? Is the answer Rio? Kaisa, your answer is... Correct. <laughs> Good job. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, this, this, this was the year when the Academy, they only had two songs nom nominated in that category. It was from this one from this movie and one from the, the Muppets. So it was it was the year people were debating whether or not we still need this category in the in the Oscars because there were only two choices. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. So, Kaisa, you have sixty four thousand. Yeah. Four away, four away from the million, and you have a lifeline. And let me just advise you right now: if if you don't want to play, and if you don't want to answer the next questions, you can always walk away with what you have. That 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 will make sure that. Autumn, um, almost automatically make sure you're in the top five for the next round if it's the second round. So just just keep that in mind, okay? Okay. Because if you get it wrong, you go down to thirty-two thousand, and I'm not sure if that'll make you in the top five, but you no, know, just keep okay. it in mind. Let's go. One twenty-five. Right. Which of the following Hanna Barbera shows was the first half-hour TV show to feature only animation? The Quick Draw McGraw show. The Yogi Bear Show, Huckleberry Hound Show, The Flintstones. I really want to say Flintstones, but I don't remember the years that these started. Um, I had that last lifeline too. I'm trying to decide if I want to save it or not. <laughs> Is <laughs> it worth always, it? You always walk away, I'll search for that. Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> All right. Put too much into it. <laughs> Um, oh, okay. I think I'm going to use my expert lifeline. You can go to the expert. Okay, that's your last lifeline. We can ask Robert again. Robert, what did you say the answer to this question was? He said, D, the Flintstones, I'm 50% sure. Oh, gosh. That's not helpful. That's where yeah. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's probably like you in this one. Oh, gosh. All right. Well, since we both seem to agree, I'm going to go with final answer Flintstones and take what comes. You could have walked away, and that would have given you 64000 but you went with Flintstones final answer. Yep. You weren't too sure, and neither was Robert. But yeah. you guys agreed, so you decided to go with it. Is this the end of the game for you? Kaisa. Your answer is wrong. Oh, I'm so, dang it. so sorry. You leave it 32,000. No, it actually was the Huckleberry Hound show. Oh, man, that was the other one. Yeah, that, 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 that's the earliest of all these four to, show, to come up. <laughs> and that was the first, first one to feature only animation. Oh. I'm sorry, but hey, you have thirty-two thousand, which isn't, which is you know nothing bad, and I'll let you know if you're in the top ten if we have to do it. Yeah. If you're in top five, if we have to do that. So before we go, right. is there anything you want to say to the people? Anything you want to plug on your blog or anything? <laughs> well, thanks everybody for watching. Be sure to stay tuned to Rotoscopers. Um, and if you want even more animation madness, you can check out my blog, animationdalmation.blogspot.com. Nice, and I'll put a link to that. Thanks, everybody. I'll put a link to that below. So thanks again for coming, and I'll let you know. See ya. Thank you.